Our cameraman took a flight in a Royal Air Force plane above the battle area around Bardia and Sulu. His film gives a vivid impression of the conditions under which our great victories in the Western Desert have been won. Overhead and beside our plane are the patrols which have kept the Italian Air Force on the ground and also strapped their troops. All day long, the forward landing grounds resound to the roar of RAF machines leaving for Bardia and points west. Now we fly with him above the vast expanse of desert. Stretched out as far as the eye can see, even from this height, there is the activity of war in the Middle East. These are pictures which bring home with dramatic forcefulness the enormous difficulties which the army of the Nile has fought and won. A huge army of many thousands must be kept supplied with food, water, petrol, lubricating oil, ammunition. There must be no hitch in keeping up these supplies. And what a country to work in. As our plane carries us forward, each mile is a glowing tribute to the battle plan that made our victories possible. Never before has an army of such size scored such triumphs in a land that gave so little natural help. It is a glorious feat of arms against an army of greatly superior numbers against nature itself. This is Bardia. Its fall marks a turning point of the war, the point at which the African campaign really went wrong for Mussolini, and that means for Hitler too. Once again, we see the never-ending stream of prisoners. The men who were forced to fight against the champions of their own true freedom now find themselves captive with the army that will eventually set them free. Bardia is safe in our hands. The first of many foreign cities that will later be seeing British patrols. The cheery faces of the Empire's armies send a message of hope to all the enslaved people of Europe. Our flight goes on, but even up in an aeroplane you can't get away from those prisoners. R-42 shot down by the RAF is just a sample of what they did to Mussolini's air force. And Bardia was just the beginning. We're pushing on to Tobruk, to Diana, towards the brighter skies.